reviews in black and white. I'm D'Amico. This is Bane. Uh, I don't know about where you guys are, but it's mid-October here in Minnesota, and it's 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 nippy out. Uh, did I just say it's nippy yeah, out? Yeah, I think you wow. did. I think you did. Anyway, it, it is cold, so those of you Minnesotan and mis Midwesterners will understand what I'm talking about. Uh, so we decided to crack open some smoked beers. One of my favorites. Uh, so I'm super excited and pumped, and uh, yeah, let's let's jump into this. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, okay, we're starting off with uh, Sam Adams, uh, right in front of Domenico here. Uh, you're looking at Sam Adams Bonfire Rausch beer, uh, 5.7 percent alcohol by volume. Rausch beer by style, also known as a smoked ale. Uh, Sam Adams, you know them, uh, the biggest little uh, microbrew. Um, yeah, let's crack it open. All right. <clears throat> so you've uh, you've had some smoked beers up here. I have had some smoked beers. Technical difficulties. There we go. Um, I've had a couple of smoked beers. Uh, this one here in particular. Uh, I've had Stones, uh, smoked porter. Uh, who else makes a good one? Rogue makes a good smoked ale oh, yeah. as well. Um, and if you're in in, in the market uh, that they're selling Rogue, and you like Mexican food, try their Chipotle ale. Super smoky, super spicy, very, very tasty. Oh, here, I'll just dump the rest. Please. There you go. Thank you. Uh, Sam Adams. Uh, this is, I believe, their first time making this one. Uh, this is a brand new style out of their uh, sampler pack. Uh, they do call it Bonfire, as you can see. Uh, let's see what we got. Definitely dark. I'm not sure if you can see this, um, but it's pretty dark. Um, you get a nice uh, golden hue to it, but uh, yeah, I mean that that is almost looking like an imperial stout to me. That's pretty close. What are you getting on the nose? Just on the nose, um, I already have a sad face. Um, I'm not getting that smoke. Uh, that's what I've come to know and love about smoked beers. Mm -hmm. You stick your nose in it, and you just have campfire all over you. Um, I'm not getting that. I am getting a little, little smoke. Just a hint. Just a hint. But I, I can understand where you're coming from. You're talking up these, uh, the smoked ales like they're going to knock my socks yeah, off. Yeah, man. Fortunately, this one on the nose is not doing that. On the nose, for sure. Well, let's hit up. Uh, first of all, very easy going. Um, in the smokiness, actually, I probably smell more smoke than I taste. I mean, it's not, it's not overly smoky. But you know, I mean, reminiscent I, of a bonfire, I guess. If you're slightly reminiscent, this is more like a, <clears throat> like a garbage can fire. Uh, you know, you get the garbage can on fire. Everyone around you's freaking out. They call the fire department. They send 15 trucks and from 13 different counties and. It takes one dude to walk over with a fire extinguisher to put it out. Yeah. Yeah, this is... I can tell you're disappointed to me. I am super <laughs> disappointed. Uh, this is, in my book, and I, and I, you know, I love Sam Adams, but, uh, boy, this is a fail in my book, as far as smoked beers go. Well, I tell you what, for the regular customer, Sam Adams does the job. I mean, for the most part, their beers, they're great on a regular day-to-day -day basis. I think this one is another one where you were expecting a little too much, didn't get it, but it's okay. I mean, it's got it's got a, just a kiss of sweetness at the end, probably some toffee or something in there. Sure, um, I get that. Caramelization, but yeah, you're right. I mean, it it's not what you expect out of it. It's a decent beer, um, but it's not a decent smoked ale. Um, Okay. I'm afraid to rate this man because <laughs> there are going to be some pissed off people, and I apologize. I don't, you know, I don't mind. I don't mean to make anyone feel be honest. less, but in my book, wow, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go 3.5 on this one. Oh, okay. Little South, I, uh, I like it. It's, uh, it's not overwhelming me in any way. Um. 
But again, I'm going to be fair. I'm going to give this a 5.2. Um, would I buy it again? Not, not quite sure. A 5.2 is uh, <clears throat> something I would maybe buy. Maybe buy. But uh, let's move on, you know. One uh, second. Since you said asked asked if you would buy it again, <clears throat> I would definitely buy the sampler pack again because there's some great beers in there. Um, but this is one of those beers that I would open the box, take this one or two out, <laughs> and give it to the clerk. No. Um, right. Yeah, I I can't get behind this at all. I'm sorry. That's I'm right. so sorry. Let's move on. <clears throat> what do you know about this next one? All right. Um, <laughs> Funny name. Uh, Schlinkerla yep. is a uh, German beer. Uh, it's a Marzen style. Uh, it is an ale. Um, you've probably heard Marzen or seen the word Marzen on some of your Oktoberfests. Um, this is generally the style that they're serving. Um, boy, I'm super excited for this one. Now, D'Amico has had this one before. Yes. I haven't, and he's talked this one up. So I I'm kind of in the hot seat right now. i got to give him my approval or my dismay on what, whether I like this or not. Um, this is obviously from Germany. You know that. You can tell by the label. Um, not quite sure uh, where you can get it in the United States. Um, and we're not quite sure if it's going to be uh, year-round. Uh, I believe it is for us here, but uh, depending on where you're at. Uh, you're getting 5.4% alcohol by volume. And, uh, all right, let's dive into this. Yeah, this is smoky. This is uh, standing outside of your uncle's uh, smoke pit. Oh, man, or fire pit, or if you have a bonfire going on. You come inside the house and, you know, the next day before you do laundry, your clothes smell like this. This is smoky. This is a different kind of nose than sure. the, uh, the Sam Adams. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm getting, it's almost like a sweeter smoke. Sweet like smoke. something yeah. is, uh, like some like an apple pie is burning or something like that. Where <laughs> <laughs> you got some some candy burning. I'm not sure. sure, sure. But yeah, it's, it's definitely an interesting nose. I'm liking well, it. Well, what they're doing is um, they're drying the barley or whatever grain they're using. With an open flame, so you know you, you're getting that smokiness imparted into the actual grain. So when they go to uh, brew it, it stays with the actual beer. It's All right, let's taste this. Yeah, let's do it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Little sweet caramel, little vanilla on the front. It's um. It's creamier than I expected. Um, definitely getting the smoke on the palate, uh, as well as on the nose. It's very strong. Um, I like it so far. I'm getting almost like like a little bit of fresh bacon off the grill sure. or something like sure. that coming through. Smoky too. bacon. Yeah. Little pork fat never almost, kill anybody. Almost charred though. I think it maybe it was a little <laughs> bit overdone, like you had forgot about it on the grill or sure. something. I I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, this beer is much sweet, richer. Sweet, smoky, yeah. rich. Um, what are you, what are you going to rate it? <clears throat> Dump -da -da -da. Dump -da -da -da. Uh, I'm going to give this one... Hold on. I'm going to give this one an 8. 8.25. Hmm. Okay. Well, Smoky. you know, I like the darker brews. I've said that before. Um, smoked ales, I haven't had one yet. Um, this is actually going to be the best one I've ever had. So <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you on that. Um, pretty close. I'll give it a 7.8. Okay. Um, I like it. Probably would buy it again. Uh, for the folks that can't find... Can find the Sam Adams bonfire, but can't find the. I can never pronounce it. Uh, Schlenkerla uh, Rush beer. Uh, <clears throat> if you're a Scotch drinker, you Scotch drinkers will get this. This is like drinking a Glenlivet, 
versus Lafroig or Lechegg, um, for sure. Uh, those big, peaty, smoky eyelids. Uh, yeah, just for Scotch reference. Don't drink a Lafroig <laughs> before you drink this, so you'll you'll never taste you'll it. But uh, yeah, anyway, let's uh, let's move on. What do we got? Uh, question of the day. Question of the day. Have you ever had a smoked beer? Actually, let me let me reverse this. Have you ever had a smoked beer? <laughs> uh, and if not, why, why the, the hell, hell not? Leave a comment. Leave some answers. Leave us some good ideas. Um, if you have had smoked ales, let us know what you've had. Let me see if we can find some. Give us some ideas. Uh, thanks for watching again, and have a good one. Let's kill it. Let's kill it. Peace. Peace out.